What's up, YouTube? Your boy CJ here, back with you to another video. Um, today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you guys what's in my camera bag. Essentially, you know what? I'm not gonna talk so much. Let's just get into my video. First camera bag, except from the D uh, Canon Canon default bag. But yeah, this is my camera bag. It's a low pro compu computer air track. It does the job. It's not perfect, but it does the job. It's a little bit worn out. It's been with me about three, four years. It's been with me a couple couple of occasions. It's rugged. It has a rain cover. It does the job. That's all I can say. And it's better. It covers everything except for my laptops. Except for my laptop, because. My laptop is humongous and this only fits a 15.6 inch but it's definitely recommended for those of you on budget I got it on budget and I believe it's, it does the job Anyway, moving on I'm gonna get rid of the camera but unfortunately I can't do much about the camera right now because I'm currently using the camera which no one's shooting on right now it's Canon 650D it's my only camera unfortunately my only DSLR I've been with it for since I was well, so that means about six, seven years. Six, seven years, yeah, give or take. Six, seven years, and it does the job. It's shooting on a uh, 1755 f2.8, which also I cannot take it off to show you guys. And also on a video mic, a road video mic go, which of course will have B rolls there, here and there. But you know, I'm gonna get on to what's on the table. As, let's start with my first thing on the left here. I have a Gorilla Pop. This thing is small and versatile. I love this thing. It's heavy duty. It's bringing me to around the world. Not around the world, just a couple bunch of locations around the world, uh, a couple of countries. It's rugged. I like this compared to a regular tripod. It's because I can just carry around small and it's it, it does the job. I can stick it around a tree and it does the job. And it carries pretty heavy camera too and I blow with it. Sorry, that's my phone unfortunately. And yeah, it does the job. That's the first thing I guess. Moving on, you can have my review of the grill pod. It's already on there. And unfortunately, it's not the very best review. That's my very first review. And I'm sorry, this sucks. Next up, I have a Canon Speedlight 430EX. Well, it's standard. It's a standard Canon flashlight flash. I use it for a couple of jobs. I'm not a particularly fan of flash because one, the batteries. Keep draining fast so and it doesn't charge as fast, not at the 600 series. But yeah, I may or may not upgrade that. So yeah, that's my flash. It does the job, definitely well, well done enough. Pouch. And well, let's get to small stuff first. I have an extra Canon battery, by the way. Take it, I have a Velocal battery, but it works as well. It's a third-party battery. It doesn't last as long as the correct Canon original, but it does the job really, really well. Next up, I have a couple memory cards. Right now, uh, in my DSLR, there's a 64 gigs uh, class 10 Sandus memory card. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good card. It's a good, it's an extreme pro card. It's a good card. It does everything I need. Basically, one job all I need is just that memory card and done. I do have a couple of backups. I have an 8 gigabytes class 6, I believe, class 6 memory card, as well as a Kingston 16 gigabytes class 4 cards. Now, I got the 8GB when I first bought a camera, 16GB uh, I just got it from my dad, so yeah, memory card. I don't have a lot of lenses, I have a couple of lenses, right now it's a 1755 f2.8. I have the kit lens, 1855f, 3.5 to 5.6 I think. I haven't used this thing, this thing has been kept on desk for a long time. Next up, I have my Dual Kings, if you will. The Dual Kings of long range lenses. I have the 7200, 7200 uh, F2, F4 L lens with IS on it and the lens of which, you know, helps me out doing things. Why do I have two of these? It's because I used to uh, shot in an F4 before I actually had the F2.8 which is quite a step up unfortunately. Unfortunately this F2.8 does not have IS and F1 and due to, well someone dropped 
someone dropped it and just caused a major problem. After one, if you were sh if I were shooting it more than 150 millimeter, the autofocus would just not work. Not say it won't work, it just slows out. That's, that's all I can say, I guess. It doesn't have to cover. It's heavy, but it does the job. Both of these lenses are sharp. Well, not as sharp as F4 because it has IS. Uh, the 2.8 does the job. I shot it on one point on one job and F4L on a lot of jobs. Seriously, they do the job perfectly and I love them. They're my go-to lens in case for concerts and long range stuff. I have a Bronix speed trigger in case for like night photography and stuff. Sometimes I just don't want to touch the camera. Sometimes I need long exposure. I use this thing. It's pretty cheap and it does the job. So yeah, if you're on a budget, a Bronix speed trigger would do it. Now, as for my tripod, I have two tripods. Unfortunately, uh, one of the tripods is a blue head. It's way, it's really, really big. And I don't really carry it in my bag, so I just leave it at home whenever possible. So, since this is an episode of what's in my bag, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna show you some extra, my daily drives. I have a Pingnan, uh, Pingnan uh, battery bank. It's 20,000 milliamps. Last of all, Four charges for my phone, I guess. For my S8. I never because recently I just repaired my own iPhone and now I have two daily drivers. I have my Samsung Galaxy S8 which a bunch of cracks on it and an iPhone 6 Plus which Well it has its damages. It's, it's old and went through hell. I changed the casing the casing, the lamp, the screen and the battery. It went through a lot, the speaker doesn't work as well. Siri doesn't register my voice anymore, so that's sad. But still, these two, I just can't get away. I need two of these because my work, sometimes people have Apple products and I just need it. Need this to work. So, yeah. And my phone can will not stop ringing. Anyway, um, moving on. Uh, now I'm gonna show you my baby lens cap. Lens, you know, what the fuck. My baby is the core which created all these videos, especially the latest one. Um, the latest video that you watch it was my trip to Gunting. Those uh, uh, editing takes quite intensive in the sense that I use this baby. This is the Razer Blade Pro 2017, more early edition. Of course, I'm trying to sell this. If any of you guys are interested, you can come find me about it. And PM me on um, Facebook, I guess. I have a link down below, but just go check it out. This is a Razer Blade Pro. It runs a 7820HK, uh, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, GTX 1080, just the whole shebang. It does get the job done. Unfortunately, I don't quite like it in the sense that it's not as portable. It's thin, it's really thin. It's about a quarter thin. But the problem with this thing is that it's about seven pounds. It's about three kilograms. Now, for you, it may be nothing, but if you carry on a bag, backpack for a whole day, not alone, with charger and such, and not to mention all these lenses and stuff, it gets really, really, really heavy. So, essentially, I try to cut down. Maybe if I were to get a sell this, if any guys are interested, do tell me about it. But I'll give you details, we can talk about it and negotiate price about it. But this, it does the job, but it just does not do it for me. A lot of work to do, and this thing does, but you know, something. So yeah, um, there's not much else on my camera, unfortunately. I will have bureaus of these stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, I have two tripods. The one is a Manfrotto fluid head tripod, and an LVG uh, photo tripod, which is the one that's currently standing on right here. I do bring this on daily drive because this bag can have the capabilities of bringing it right around. If I open this up, I have. Uh, the place to put it in. Anyway, the this tripod is good. It's light and it's powerful. Um, I'm sorry if the scene is not so dramatic as my normal ER because I'm on my kitchen right now and I know try to do I just got a new kitchen table. It's really smooth. So essentially, just have to. I'm doing this review and not review these introduction. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you guys like it. I'm gonna post a bit more videos in the next couple weeks. And yeah, and do follow me on my Instagram if you want to like to see like oh, uh, nice photos and stuff. I'm not considering myself a pro, but it does the job. Well, you know, 
Well, if you guys like it, do subscribe.